all of us feel like a part of us is missing, a big part. It's a bedroom to which nine-year-old Evelyn Dickhouse will never return. Evelyn's bedroom, now a place to grieve, a place just to feel her presence. Oh, I think we both go in and lay on her bed a mm -hmm. lot. Three um, of us will do that. Sometimes the three of us. Mm -hmm. In spirit, still a family of four, Mike and Katie Dickhouse, their now 12-year-old daughter, and their beloved Evelyn. Just with our Ev watching from above now. Um, so it's been so hard. It's so sad. In Evelyn's face, Katie and Mike want you to see their baby. She would just give the biggest, like, squeezed bear hugs. A daughter, a little sister, another victim of America's epidemic of gun violence. She is a gift. Both of our babies are a gift. Children are gifts. We just dropped her out of school. That's all we did. Top story today, three students have been shot. Three students from the Covenant School. That they engage with the shooter and the shooter is dead again. There are parents that are still trying to make their way through this trap. We have seen them running towards the school. March 27th, 2023, a shooter walked into Nashville's Covenant School, a small Christian school that itself had felt like family. Katie and Mike rushed to the neighborhood along with other families where they were quickly reunited with their oldest daughter. Surely we would hear that our Evelyn was okay. Surely. Speaking recently before a small group in Chattanooga, Katie described spotting one of Evelyn's classmates through the window of a fire station. I asked her through the glass, have you seen Evelyn? She frantically stated, we don't know where she is. We don't know you. And a school that is a preschool through sixth grade that's now a crime scene. They would soon learn that their sweet little Evelyn and the others never had a chance against a barrage of gunfire from a well-armed, mentally ill shooter. Come to me now. Lay your hands over me. Let us never forget their names. Evelyn Dykus, Haley Scruggs, William Kenny, Cynthia Peake, Catherine Coombs, and Mike Hill. As the Nashville community came together to grieve, Six are dead! How many more? And protesters descended on the Tennessee State Capitol, the Dickhouse family quietly buried a child and a beloved sister. A few days later, Evelyn's school backpack was returned to the family. It was just another moment of me feeling like my legs were going to buckle out from under me. Having her backpack come back and all of her things that she was so proud of. In the backpack, the couple found Evelyn's journal from school, her aspirations. I hope the Lord will be with me this November and that I can do 20 good things for others this month. Simple but profound. Share your markers, forgive, hug your teacher, have people rise in kindness, laugh. She had some good ideas that I think we can all learn from. Then there was Evelyn's New Year's pep talk to herself. Dear Snickle Fritz, that was a nickname from a grandparent. Happy New Year. I have to give myself a New Year's pep talk, so here we go. You don't have to be like everyone else. You be you, girl. You don't have to be best. You don't have to be perfect, ma'am. <laughs> you need positive energy, girl. You can be who you want yourself, exclamation point. So, nice pep talk, huh? Well, bye. Love Snickle Fritz herself. She had an incredible sense of humor. She did. She was really witty, really witty. She's just fun to know, you know? Uh, she's just fun to be around. 
Three weeks after the Covenant shooting, the Dick House is headed to Tennessee's Capitol Hill, hoping they'd find people who needed to hear Evelyn's story. And, and we didn't even know what we, what we wanted or what we needed, um, but we knew something, we knew something needed to change. And these were the people who could make those changes. That's what I hope so. Like with so many other mass shootings, the search for real change out of the Covenant tragedy has proved to be elusive. It's an out-of-body nightmare experience that so many people shouldn't be going through. Yet in Evelyn's Bible, she underlined, walked faithfully with God, walked faithfully with God. The family finds strength and hope. And she underlined, I will make you into a great nation. I will bless you. I will make your name great and you will be a blessing. In the end, Katie and Mike say they hope Evelyn's name will also be a blessing. Her story, motivation to those with the power to do something to end the cycle of violence in America. And we want people to really look at working together and coming together to try to make things better, because we know she wants that.